It's very hot. It's like uh, the big thermometer right now is kicking at about 102. Yeah. Uh, I'm sweating, yeah. and I know you're sweating. Yes, indeed. It is hot outside, especially if you're locked in a car without the A.C. running. But so a trooper and a firefighter did that today. That's right, and Scott Swan is live outside to show us how they use their own bodies to help demonstrate the danger so that we can take precautions. Scott? Yeah, Ann and John, when we were with you 10 minutes ago, we had this car running, the A.C. was on, and it was a nice chilly 67 degrees inside. So it's been off 10 minutes. The A.C. has been off. We've got a uh, thermometer in here that shows that it's 104 in a car that's been sitting out here without the air conditioner running. Now, first responders say that about 35 kids die in unattended hot cars every year. And so today, they wanted to go ahead and show how dangerous it can be. So a firefighter and a state police trooper got in one of these cars, and they did their uh, exhibition on social media. Check it out. John Prime, Indiana State Police, Mike Pruitt, Wayne Township Fire Department. We want to bring awareness to the dangers of being inside of a hot car. Their show and tell was streamed live on Facebook and Twitter. Let's see what so happens. we're going we're gonna to roll the windows up. Uh, the car is not running. We turned off the air conditioning. Within just a few minutes, the car heats up. We've only been in here three minutes now, and uh, it is hot. It's very hot. It's uh, like uh, the big thermometer right now is kicking at about 102. Yeah. Uh, I'm sweating. Yeah. And I know you're sweating. So imagine what it would be like for a child strapped in a car seat. When that small child reaches about 105 degrees, uh, that becomes deadly. With cameras rolling outside and medics standing by. But our says, phones are getting too hot. It says temperature emergency, and that's no kidding. The heat inside the vehicle is now shutting down the iPhones. We have all the windows up. We have no air conditioning on. The sun is shining on us. And we've been in this car for 21 minutes. 21 minutes, I am feeling pretty miserably hot. Yep. All right, let's hop out, Mike. Let's, let's hop out. The first responders finally emerge after 40 minutes, realizing how quickly and how dangerous a hot car can be. But I was truly starting to feel sick, and, and I was starting to lose my ability to think clearly, to talk clearly. We could have got out of the car at any time. A child that's strapped into a car seat that doesn't have that ability uh, is just going to sit in there and bake. Yeah, first responders say parents often get distracted because they may be on the phone when they get out of their car. They go to work, they go in the store, and they forget they've got a child or a pet in the back seat. Their advice is to put either their purse or their phone in the back seat with the child. That way, when you get out of the car, you remember your personal item and you remember what's most important that's your child or your pet in the back seat. And, John, back to you guys. Yeah, that's good advice. All right, thank you, Scott.